Hi YouTube, um, this is the second part of my um, video about my Royal Python uh, eating. So I'm just going to show you down here. Um, in the first part of the video um, you saw him strike, feed and grab the, um, the rat. Now he's getting about halfway. So you can see he's got the rat in his mouth. And you can see as he was more than halfway, he's almost finished it actually. So what you'll notice is that he sort of wiggles his body side to side and it helps the helps the um, rat actually go down. There you go, and he does this sort of gaping yawn type thing and uh, when he does that it almost looks like the the rat is going down by itself you know there it goes so he's, he's actually eating this fairly quickly you know I had to um had to charge up my camera in between because typically the battery started going so I, I did that, it's actually going again now, but hopefully this this is uh, enough to show you roughly what it looks like. So yeah, this is an albino royal python, also called a ball python, python regis is the scientific name. Um, a really good sort of beginner snake because they only get to about six foot, which is really small for a python. This one's just a little juvenile. You can see, look, all the heat pits on the side there. I've got to be a bit careful now because I'm quite close to... <laughs> my hand is quite close to his face. So now he's finished eating that mouse and rat. He might want another one. So, and they can strike for you know, a reasonable distance. So obviously they're, they're not venomous because it's a python. All the, all the pythons and boas are not, not venomous. They're constrictors. But... Um, the bite can still sort of hurt a bit. Now quite a lot of teeth that are sort of recurved. They curve backwards. And um, if they do bite you, it can just be a bit tricky to get them off sometimes if they decide they want to cling on. There we go. Anyway, I shall put his, this is what I normally do, is just put his um, cork bark hide back over him like uh, and then just leave him to it um, and then I won't hold him again now for uh, a few days uh, and then I'll have a good handle of him um, before I feed him again in a week's time I still need to change his water dish and uh, clean out this cage a little bit but then I'll I'll put him back in his uh, warm larger enclosure anyway thanks for watching and uh, hit subscribe to see more videos of me uh, feeding my other animals and um, tips and things on how to keep them and I'll see you in the next video